Daniel here for Black Desert. We got another Black Desert uh, video for you today. And today I just I just decided to go over a few simple tips, um, a short little guide, if you will, to leveling up your processing and gathering skills. Um, the processing one is definitely a lot easier to do than the gathering, only because the gathering actually takes your energy. So that is definitely one that you would preferably do AFK and if you have a decent amount of energy especially but hey before we get too far into this if you're new hey, hit that subscribe button stay tuned for many videos to come for those of y'all already here man I appreciate each and every one of y'all I, I can't say that enough and we just gonna get right into this it said the uh, processing one's simple. Yeah, that, was, that one's simple. Now you this must one. Must follow the laws of Kelfion when you are this here. This one is dependent, I guess, on how much money, how much silver you have in game. Um, now basically, what I do is I just come into the vendor, uh, grab. You want the uh, the timber? You want to start with the timber. Now, obviously, the tim the ash is the, the more common one, so that's going to be the cheapest. So we're just going to buy a bunch of those. And actually, I think that's the max you can do. So yeah, you just do just do all if you can, you know, if you have the silver and you're not worried about spending it. Now, I usually always do it for the max price, just because it's more guaranteed. It's going to go right through. Now there you go. I got that. Now it's in my inventory here. I'm just gonna put that over now with the amount of stuff I have in my inventory right now I can't actually hold the full uh, thousand I can however hold the 975 so we're gonna just bring that back put it in my inventory as you can see it puts me up to 99 and essentially we're just gonna hold bring on bring up our processing menu which is LT and up press go uh, left to the hammer and with the wood you want to go to chopping you just put that in there oh wrong button here we go, you put that in there, press Y and Y to confirm. My control is a little touchy at the moment, so that just went straight through. Let's just press Y, then Y again, and it'll confirm. <clears throat> now again, this method is, 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 is if maybe you got something else to do, you're occupied with something else, you gotta go to the store, go to work, go to school, what have you. you just sit here and throw it up there, do this. Now, this takes several minutes. Now, the lower the level you are, this this, this works wonders because it will shoot you up pretty quick. Obviously, the higher you get, as you can, I'm sure you can tell by now, you don't get a percentage, like you don't get an increase on every single one. Now at the point, it's not every other one either. It'll start taking longer and longer. But again, if you're if this is something you need to get done and you need to work on, this is definitely an easy, efficient way to do it. Um, again, especially if you're not going to be at your console or you're doing something else. Like, for example, myself, I do a lot of stuff on my computer as well now, so I'll throw it on this, go hop on my computer, work on some videos, um, you know, practice on that video software I just got, do what have you. Now, the gathering one, now that one's going to take some work. Now, I mean, to be honest, you can get it going quick, quick. There's a lot of quests uh, in Velia and uh, especially Olivia. A lot of gathering quests that will help you boost that up a good amount. You know, between the experience you get from the completing the quest to the experience you're getting from doing the quest. But again, that's also energy heavy. Some of them will actually, you know, give you back some energy. So basically if you can find a good balance between doing the gathering quest and some of the other ones and you can basically balance your energy out so that way you're, you're not going to run out and you can just continuously grind. Um, I might make a video later on when I do this myself just to give you a basic gist of what I'm talking about if, if it's not something you can figure out by saying it. Um, but essentially with that one right now what I do 
I go and I buy uh, the empty water bottles. I already got them marked. Now, if you remember from this, you come up on this, you press down on the D-pad, you bring up your NPC list. You go over to your material vendor, which I have it on already, press RT, and it'll path you to him. Now, you just go to him. Um, for example, I have 154 energy, so I buy 154 bottles. I'll go to the wharf, and I'll just AFK gather it. I mean, it'll take a little bit. Not too, too long, but now that doesn't take, that shouldn't take up too, too much weight. Um, obviously the filled bottles take up more than the less bottles, so you don't want to have too much you know, weight. And then, you know, let's say you bring it up to like 95% after you buy the bottles, I mean, you might, you might end up going over before you finish. So you just want to make sure you have a little bit of, you know, a little bit of space. And if you're not doing that, um, for example, I will go out and I'll gather uh, trees. I'll just go, you know, lumber some trees down. Now the reason I'm doing that is because uh, logs. Now, for anybody new in the game right now, or just starting out, or even if you've been doing this for a little while and you're just starting to get into this yourself, logs are a very hot commodity right now. Now whether you want them yourself, or you've already got something, and you're just maybe looking to make some, you know, a little bit of silver, it definitely logs I think are backtracked on the broker for, for weeks yeah, everybody's buying them because everybody wants fishing boats um, I'm essentially for the most part just doing this to get my gathering and uh, processing up a certain level the reason why I'm doing that is because Example, I have a amulet. Now, in order for me to try to upgrade my amulet, I need a specific material. Now, as you can see, I have abundance, just an abundant amount of everything else. But what I do not have, and I noticed, are these. Now, as you can see by the tooltip on the right, now metal solvent and zinc are both easily obtainable at the levels I'm at however in order to put those two together and get the material I need you need to have a heating uh, the knowledge of heating skilled and again if you continue reading the only way to do this is a gathering skilled level of 10 which that is who oh, has taken a bit and then a professional level professional level in processing of five or higher now the processing one as you can see it's it's going up pretty good i mean i've been doing this for for a little bit but again i've done I've, it's not like i've been just sitting here staring at the screen watching myself do it you know but you need both of those in order to get the quest in keplin that you need to get the knowledge now before i go any further with that let me remind everybody Every time you log in, make sure you come back in here and check these off, or you will not even be able to see the quest. Even if you've achieved uh, achieved the levels that you you need, you will not be able to see it if you don't have this checked off. Just a friendly reminder. Now the benefit of doing it with the logs and I make sure that they're timbers, rather, is once you finish doing the timbers, and again, let's say you come back and you're, you know, from your game, you, like for example, I have mine hooked up through my same TV as my Xbox, so I just switch over the HDMI channel and start, you know, I'll play on my, my computer. You know, while I'm doing something, like say I die in my game of Dota or something, I'll switch back over real quick, see if it's done or what it's at, if it's done, obviously I'll continue. If it's done, I'll just go back over. But basically, once this finishes and you get your planks, you can chop it again and get plywood. Which is why I think that the timber is the most efficient. Now again, if you're um, 
if you've already got the logs or whatever, you don't need logs, you don't care for the fishing boat or what have you, even though you really should. Uh, that fishing boat is, oh, man, it makes life so much easier. You, you, it might not make sense now, and I can't really make it make sense for you. But all I can say is, when I'm when I am actually able to get my boat and able to show you yourself, or you are able to get there and see it yourself, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> But yeah, you can go and just, uh, let's say you need iron or coal and your workers aren't getting it fast enough. Or let's say you're even farther in and you're working on uh, your, uh, your sharps and stuff like that, your shards. You know, you could go gather that and I'll work towards it. And just whatever it is that you need at that moment, go physically gather it. Like, for example, like I said, I, I do trees. So, as you can see from the map, I mean, if you've done this you've run around enough you see that there, there's a good amount of spots everywhere to farm trees again no matter what area of the map you're in there is spots that will have abundant obviously some better than others um, me pre uh, my preference is around here area like right this way over here because I can just hop over here which I gotta go back to eventually at some point here anyway So basically just a quick rundown, uh, not very difficult, I was just figure a couple tips, you know, things that I've found to, to help, you know, be more efficient or, um, you know, a bit more convenient. Again, especially if you got other stuff to do or you're doing other stuff, you basically just either buy timber or if, hey, if you're, if you're spending enough time to do, like I said earlier, to be able to work your energy or balance your energy, you know, you can just basically do this while questing and even doing the gathering quests and stuff like that, you can do the same thing. You know, if you gather enough stuff and you use enough of your energy, you can either just sit here and basically chop down or grind or what have you on the materials that you just got. Your energy will slowly build up like that. But, I mean, you gotta do this anyway. So, you can do this to build up some more energy, or you can wait this out and do some quests to build your energy up. You know, I mean, again, if <laughs> if you don't like a grind, this game is definitely not for you. Now, I mean, MMOs in general are a grind, but everything about this game's end game is a grind. Every 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 bit of it, you literally gotta grind just about everything individually. You gotta do your processing, and your gathering, and your hunting, and your alchemy. And, I mean, your fishing. And, it's just, it's, it's very grindy. But I mean, I love that about MMO, so I'm not complaining. Hey, I mean, it's, it's, it's at a point where it just seems like it's, it's the obvious thing, but you know, I'm gonna say it anyways. For those of y'all already here, man, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Again, you just, you gonna hear it as much as possible. And if you're new, come you know if you here for this if you here for black desert you know, as I figure stuff out as I think about stuff uh, I think my next video I'm gonna go a little bit into the enchanting uh, that whole aspect of it I've been waiting to do it because I don't have any of that stuff on me all my stones and, and, and you know the rocks and stuff are all spread out at the moment yeah I'm, I'm not very organized per se but hey we're working on it but uh, yeah, you know, make sure you stay tuned for many more videos to come. And, you know, I appreciate y'all for taking the time to check out my videos. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Later.